Welcome to part one of Getting Started with Pi Game Zero. In this very simple video, we will check Pi Game Zero and you will write a couple of lines of code in order to get your first program working. Now, we're using a Raspberry Pi, and since 2015, Pi Game Zero has been available on the Raspberry Pi pre installed. So make sure you've got the latest operating system and you are all ready to go. We're going to start then by clicking the Raspberry Pi logo, programming, and we're going to open up Thony Python IDE. And we're going to type in a couple of lines of code just in this program to check that Pi Game Zero is working effectively. So the first thing we need to do is import Pi Game. Next up, we're going to create a simple screen or window for our game. So here is the Thony window, which you can see. And what we're going to do is with Pi Game Zero is create a simple emulation of a window, which we can then build our game around. So the first thing we have to do is define the width. So the width is going to be set at 500. And then we have to do the height. I'm also going to set this to 500. Now what we're going to do is create a function which fills the square. So define the function, which we're going to call draw. And this is a simple command screen dot fill open bracket and then we're going to use RGB colors in order to fill the screen. So I'm going to fill the screen uh, red. So I'm going to have red, no green, no blue and then close it. So very simple, a few lines of code there and this should test the Pi game zero is uh, functioning correctly. So we'll go to run. Need to save it first, so I'm going to call this simple game. Press OK. Runs down here. Uh, Phil takes two position items, but four were given. Ah, yes. So I need to make sure that I've got double quotations on this. Schoolboy error there. There you go. So Pi Game Zero is working correctly. I have a 500 by 500 window and it is colored red. So we can change it to white by changing the RGB to 255 for each of them. Run it we have a white screen for our game to take place on. Let's make it bigger. Remember each time to close the window before you run it. Massive screen there for a game. Far too big. Okay. And uh, an error there as well. So now we know we've got uh, Pi Game Zero set up. Very simple. Um, check out video two where we'll begin to create the game. And if you just want to play around with some of these colors and different sizes, uh, you can do. 